become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding hi everybody golden era bookworm here in the second series of videos covering my interviews with legendary golden era bodybuilder and 1967 mr america champion mr don Howorth. in today's video interview we will travel back to the late 50s and learn of Don's life-changing meeting with the legendary and iconic Silver Era legend, Steve Reeves. As you will learn, this meeting, which occurred at American Health Studios, one of the gyms that Don frequented as a youth, fundamentally changed Don's life and forever shaped his view on bodybuilding as an art form and really cemented his ideals of what bodybuilding should be like. Let's hear from Don in his own words about this epic meeting with The Shape, Steve Reeves. We continue from the first interview right after Don had listed the first gyms he ever trained in after initially training at home with his Paramount Barbell set, which included Vic Tanny's gym and American Health Studios. Enjoy. And did you mention that it was in American Health Studios where you met Steve Reeves? Right, right. That was, yeah. How, could you re recall that experience? I can just imagine how it must have been. Well, I mean, I, like I said, I was in the back, in the power room that they had back there. And I, and I came out and I seen the silhouette in the front, it, coming to the front door, and I, I went like, "Wow, what is that? Who is that?" You know. And I was in, I was in awe. I was I was down to the beach uh, where they took that famous shot of him uh, and Eiferman, Eiferman's point, Eiferman standing on on, on one leg. Uh, yeah, on one leg pointing at him like, can you believe this? I mean, that's the expression he had on his face, you know. Right. And, uh, that's a great shot. And he was, must have been weighing, he must have been weighing 215, I guess, something like that. He, he was insane looking. I mean, I've never seen him in person at that weight, but I've seen the photograph was taken down there in 19, I think just before he went to Europe. Right, okay. Yeah. What, what, did you go up to Steve Reeves? Did you talk to him? No, the guy that the, the guy was a manager at the at the gym introduced me to him. I don't know why he introduced to me to me because I only weighed about one sixty something, I guess. You know? But I mean, I, I've got a I've got a picture taken. I got to take a, a picture taken in my uh, in my album that from down the street, and I'm standing there. I'm standing with a t-shirt on, and uh, even 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 in uh, high school, my my prophecy was. Mr. America, 19, 1960, I graduated in 54, and they, they prophesied that I'd win Mr. America in 1964. Well, that's pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pretty close. I had no idea. Mr. America, I never thought of that. You know, I just <laughs> working out, you know. Because in those days, all we wore was white T-shirts and Levi's and uh, loafers, you know. So. <laughs> Did you talk to Steve Reeves that time you met him? No, not really. No, that, yeah. that's what I missed out because he he was in uh, he was at uh, one of the hotels in the, in Studio City uh, at one time, but I, I missed out on seeing him. You know, I would have okay. I really said that uh, doing that. So, would you say that Steve Reeves served as your first true inspiration in bodybuilding? Uh, yeah, he's the only inspiration. Right. I have to say he's the greatest of all. He is the greatest of all time. I mean, without you know, with it, with the genetics he had, I mean, all these people with thirty-two inch thighs and forty-two inch guts, you know, and big traps. It's all they all look like. Excuse me. Oh, I'm, I I got to keep from using profanity. <laughs> they all look like a fucking apes, man. That's what I'm saying. But. <laughs> You're allowed to say whatever you like, Don. It's great. <laughs> I've just seen a little little thing on Smart News uh, saying, "Have they taken it? Would it actually come on YouTube uh, if uh, I think have they lost lost their way? The bodybuilders they lost their, their way a long time ago. As soon as I got into all the all the stuff, because I remember seeing Dorian Yates. You know how long that's been? That's been like 1984. I went like. Wow, this guy, they got him in a laboratory. They're taking something, they're giving buffaloes or something, man, because this guy's absolutely huge. And he had, I looked at him, he said, uh, you know what? 
my friends, I forget who I was talking to, I said, this guy's got that Neanderthal look to his face. He was taking <laughs> growth hormone, you know, taking a platoon theory. You know, I mean, it just, they destroyed what, what it really means. I mean, just, just getting big doesn't mean anything to me, you know? Yeah. Well, that video you talked about, that's the one I made recently, actually. Oh, was it? <laughs> yeah. The picture I seen just recently was a, uh, was uh, I don't I don't know how to bring that up when, when it comes on to YouTube. I don't know how to get it up to, to look at it. I have no. I have to. Some, just have click on to it. Look. Just touch on yeah. it. Yeah. Well, I tried that. I didn't get nothing to work. I'll have to have somebody show me show me uh, tomorrow at the, if they're working out at the gym. So but they're they're working out with mask on, you know, and that seems very cumbersome. So one last question with with Steve Reeves as your inspiration, would you say? seeing that he was your only inspiration, as you mentioned earlier, that you tried to emulate his look? Yes. Yes. Right. There's Could nobody you... else. Yeah, there's, nobody else. there's nobody else that, that, that has that particular look, you know, small waist, big calves, very symmetrical, very aesthetic looking. It's not, it's not to get up there to look like a freaking gorilla. It's up there to, yeah. to show that at least you've got some kind of sense in your head that you, you want to show, show something that's, that's l like a great painting, you know? I mean, you wouldn't stick a gorilla on a painting and have Von go do a gorilla, you know? But that's exactly what it seemed like, you know? Yeah. Um, is that what you tried to um, to emulate? The tiny waist, that wonderful V taper, the wide shoulders, is that what yeah, you want? But, that, but that's a joke, you know? I mean, I, it's, oh you know, yeah, let, let's try to look like Steve Reeves. And I say to myself, Oh, you're out of your fucking mind, Howard. I mean, what the hell? He's born that way, you know? Yeah. He was born with it, you know? I mean, he had great calves, great thighs. There's a there's a movie called Athena. Have you ever seen it? Yes. Yeah, great, great. It shows him only a couple of shots, but he looked great. There's another person that's in that lineup, Jerry Ross. He was another one I liked. He had that aesthetic look to his physique, but he was much shorter than Reed. You know? Of course. So reflecting on this part of the interview with Don Howarth, one can really see how his meeting with Steve Reeves, this impression that Reeves left on young Don Howarth, truly shaped and cemented his ideals in bodybuilding, as it did with so many golden era bodybuilders. Steve Reeves, as well as Reg Park, both served as inspirations to the golden era legends such as Don Howarth, Larry Scott, Sergio Oliva, Arnold, Franco, Zane, etc. In Don's eyes, he truly felt that Steve Reeves was the greatest bodybuilder of all time and served as his only inspiration. In the next video interview with Don Howarth, you will learn of how he almost obsessively trained to emulate his idol, Steve Reeves, and the extremes that he went to to achieve a physique like the immortal silver era bodybuilding icon. Now, if you're interested in learning about how Don Howarth built his phenomenal physique, the ebook available titled Developing Dynamic Delts, written by Gene Mose, Don's close friend, details some of the routines and exercises that Don used over the years. I would also recommend the many Steve Reeves ebooks that I have on my website covering his specialized routines for the development of an aesthetic physique, such as how I developed my broad shoulders and how I developed my waist, both titles by Steve Reeves, all available on my website, www.goldenerabookworm.com. So I do hope you have enjoyed this second interview with Don Howarth, the Duke of Delts, where we have looked at his first meeting with Steve Reeves and how this meeting fundamentally changed his life and pursuit in bodybuilding. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share and subscribe and support my research into the history of bodybuilding. Please donate via PayPal, become a patron or visit my website for out of print books and courses on old school bodybuilding and email me if you wish to collaborate or pass on your bodybuilding relics. That's it from me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm saying bye for now. To take full advantage of my collaboration with Old School Labs, please visit their website and choose from their marvelous range of supplements using my code BOOKWORM12. And for an entertaining look at the history of bodybuilding's supplement industry, I would highly recommend watching Subs the Movie, which I have collaborated in, available at Amazon Prime and Vimeo. 